Hi, welcome back to Talk of the Town. Hilton Head Preparatory Main Street Theater will be presenting the musical performance of James and the Giant Peach. And here to share more, the show's director, Ian McCabe. Ian, welcome to the show. Hi. So, tell us a little bit about what the show's what, what the show's actually about. Yeah. So, James and the Giant Peach. It's an adaptation of uh, Roald Dahl's famous children's novel. And so, you have a young orphan named James who is sent to live with some pretty abusive aunts, and then through some wonderful magical spells, he gets to go on a pretty crazy adventure with some gigantic bugs and a gigantic peach. Uh, and they travel all the way across the ocean to New York City, and they have uh, some fun misadventures and adventures in between. So uh, what's the age range that the show will appeal to? I think uh, really uh, all, all ages can come see this. Okay. You know, uh, we've advertised it as a show for the whole family, and I think it really is a show that everybody can enjoy I from, agree. like, you know, age three up, really, you know. And so what is the music like in the show? It, uh, it's really amazing. It runs the gamut, right? It, it, you know, there's some like salsa numbers and there's some like uh, some very like uh, bluesy numbers and some some rock and roll type numbers. I mean, it really is a lot of different styles. And, you know, there's a little bit of jazz in there and then some really good classic musical theater type songs. Um, the music was written and composed by the same um, composition team that actually wrote some of the music for the, the movie La La Land. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's Isn't really neat That's stuff. really yeah. neat. I love that. So was there anything uh, that was difficult about, difficult about producing the show? Um, really, uh, it's been exciting because it's had a lot of challenges, right? Okay. You know, um, like the challenge of building a giant peach, right? And making a giant peach sure. grow on stage in front of an audience. Um, and what's been fun is that, you know, it's a relatively small cast and the kids have been so creative in collaborating with one another and collaborating with me that we have together sort of devised some really cool things to make some really magical things happen on stage. And uh, so each of those challenges have been one of the, those things that we can approach as a group, as an ensemble, and sort of tackle. And I think we've really come up with uh, quite a nice set of solutions and um, some really good theatrical I moments. I bet the kids are so excited to just show it off. That's <laughs> oh, they fun. are. They are. So what made you pick this show? Uh, so I've always been a, a big fan of Roald Dahl's. Uh, I uh, read all of his books when I was a little kid, The Witches, The Twits, uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, um, and James and the Giant Peach, the BFG. And um, I love the way Roald Dahl uses human characters uh, that are really, uh, really real people. Right. And then puts them into these fantastic, magical situations and uh, you see how different people with different types of opinions and viewpoints um, can get through some sort of uh, situation that is a little bigger than themselves. Sure. And uh, James and the Giant Peach, this being a relatively new adaptation of the, of the book, okay. uh, so it's only about two or three years old. Um, it's been, I, when I found it, I knew I wanted to do it. It was a really a cool script, cool music, and I love the story. And so how many, um, how many kids are, or, or I should say, who's in, what age group do you yeah. have in the show, and, and how many do you have in the show? We have 11 students in the show. Um, uh, all of them but one are in from our upper school, our high school age students, and we have one middle school student who will be participating. That's incredible. That is a small cast, though. Yeah. I mean, I bet they really had to work hard. Yeah, and they play, uh, you know, between the 11 of them, I think they play something like 50, 60, 70 characters. Right, they bounce around, and it's a lot of fun I bet to see them is. changing costumes. So, what's it like to work with prep students on a show like this? This is not your first time of working with them, is it? No, no. I so I okay. teach there during the day. That's what I thought. Teach other acting courses, and I, I directed their fall play this year. Um, but it's been fun to collaborate with the with the prep students on. Um, on a play like this because they have to play so many different characters so we have okay. to find sort of creative theatrical solutions to things and you know uh, it gives them an opportunity you know you know to sort of get out of the classroom and get out of the structured environment and to do something a little more free form um, and a little more student guided um, where they get the opportunity to sort of create their own opportunities and right. sort of working through that um, has been phenomenal. And like seeing them in moments of discovery is like probably 
one of the most rewarding things that uh, I as a teacher can experience is and, seeing and the students such a discover great experience something. Yeah. for them too. And quickly, the show time and date. The the dates are the uh, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th. Okay. Uh, Thursday through Saturday will be at 7.30 p.m. and we have a 2 p.m. matinee on Saturday and Sunday. Wonderful. Yeah. Look forward to it. Thank you so much. And we thank you so much for joining us on today's Talk of the Town.